Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March. We are in the White March and we are currently going into Russet Wood. First time we've been here. So let us start yeah. wandering around here. You had a winter wolf. Okay. Can we oh we can talk to it. <clears throat> this wolf lies in the snow, panting with exhaustion and pain. An arrow has pierced its foreleg, jutting gruesomely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, had to drink some water. Um, an arrow has pierced its foreleg, jutting gruesomely from the animal's flank. The wolf growls softly as you approach, tail between his le its legs. So a hunter got you. Um, well, let's examine the wound. The wolf appears to have a the wolf appears to have crossed a hunter's path. A silver arrow juts from the wolf's right foreleg embedded a short distance into the limb. Even so, you suspect that trying to remove the arrow without knowledge and care could provoke further injury. Hmm. <clears throat> well, let's try to remove the arrow. The wolf goes still at first, but the moment you lay hands on its injured leg, it begins to thrash and panic. Yelping in pain, it snaps at your hands and then lunges towards you. No, I didn't want that to happen. Um, no, let's, let's, there might be a way to, um, yeah, there might be a way to save him. <clears throat> Him, her, it, whatever. I don't want to kill a wolf. I though I know their prey. So uh, um So we're just gonna Scenic see. marches and campfire feasts. Like the good old days on the Valian front. You got any memories like that, Adair? Well, let's see. Uh, sometimes we'd march two, three days without sleep. Start seeing things that weren't there. Nice thing about mercenary work is you can always quit. <laughs> so true. Okay. So we know this wolf is here. Uh, so we, we know what the wound is going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it alone. Okay. Winter wolf. Where does this go? Okay. And another way out. And another way out here and down here. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> this makes me cold just looking at it. I do have people I need to speak to here, I think. Probably get their, um... Okay, here's the way out over here. Alright, we have a winter wolf. Hmm... Okay, let's see who this is. This is a druid. <laughs> you come over here. Let's go. That's it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Elof. Off. Too long has it been since we made camp. Has it really? Why? Uh. Okay, so what do we have here? Hide, hide, sage him. Ooh, dexterity. Hmm. So we could give that to him, maybe. 
or her, I should say. Sure. She's even tracks in the snow. Oh, we even get the stag. Oop, there's one down here I missed. Okay. There we did. Should be in scout mode, dummy. All right? In case there's something here. Though we have to go really slow in scout mode, but. Oh, you can do fast mode in scout. Okay. Somewhat. All right, I just want to make sure I didn't miss something up here. All right. Yeah, this is definitely making me feel cold. We've got something up here. So if we kill that whoop, do we get the thing that's in its leg? There goes the stag running off. There's something over here. Isn't that where we were at? I don't think so. We got bacon? Stucko back jerky. And there was this over here. Okay. So somebody got... It looks like it was a wagon. Oh, I did find something. And what is this? Tattered map. This yellowed piece of parchment shows a rough drawing of a cluster of trees, a little else. They could be anywhere in the white in the white march. Okay, so a cluster of boulders, and it looks like there's like a river over here river or a path. Hmm. Oh, I just did that. Okay. Interesting. And we have a soul over here. This cracked wooden staff is... Oh, it's a staff? Neatly buried beneath the frost and snow, to your senses, the gathered essence shines like a beacon. Well, let's examine the area first. This camp is long abandoned, and what remains is buried beneath a layer of ice and snow. The staff seems to be the sole item of note. I had the right person selected. Let's get her selected yeah. first. Touch the broken staff. You reach out with your watcher's senses and feel this drifting soul surge forward as it as if eager to be heard. A feeling of fear and urgency ripples through you. Here, across the distance spanned by time and identity, you know only that you are out of time. Oh, okay. Did you think to escape me by climbing a mountain? I would have tracked you across the sea, 
thief. Is he the one we were supposed to be looking for? He might have buried something over there. Please, Master, have mercy. I, I kept the grimoire hidden safely away, and I can take you to it. Okay. The book is nothing. If you had studied a little longer, you might have learned that. But no apprentice of mine will steal from me and live. Okay, so he's a mage and he is his apprentice. Wait, no! Okay. No problem. That's where we were at, wasn't it? No, there wasn't. The crate was over here somewhere. Hmm. That's as far up as we can go. All right, let's see where we're at on the map. Go up and over a little bit. That. Okay. So that's the map is where it was hiding his the grimoire. Okay, so I wonder if it's on here, the russet wood. Game paused. Why? What do we have? Oh, we got something up here. Okay. Um We got a couple of somethings up here. We got an ice troll. We got a couple of them. Okay. You get back here. Now you do your bouncing Betty. Well, oh, I've got other stuff I added to them. Chain lightning, yes. Hi. Okay, why aren't you doing anything? Um, again, pain. In the blink of an eye, the monk sneaks toward a distant target, inflicting terrible crush damage. Where are you at? Him here? That's me. I don't know where he's at. Um, ice troll. Okay, that's him up here. Okay. You need to do. Let's see what you can do here. What is this one? Um, Chronic Orb. Name for the eccentric and appropriate. Bounces between a number of enemies, dealing damage and inflicting a variety of battle work. Okay, he's not doing very well here. Um, Torment's Reach. This ability explo exploits the shared bands of universal suffering between all beings. The initial ta target is hit with a powerful blow that does additional damage. Alright, let's do... of flames. Yeah, that's what I thought that was. 
Push moons. Oh, let's do that. Here, you're eater, all right. Where are you at? You must be in the thick of this, okay. Let's go help him up there. Are you almost dead? Yep. You up here. What? Alrighty, come on. Did you finally die? Yes, you did. Okay. What do we got? Troll skin and an ice troll heart. A lovely drop. What is that? Um, <clears throat> Rayfield is desperate for the bait of Balin liquor, and the only source of it is zealously guarded stocks. Return. Okay, find the ingredients for a cure of Renfield. Eric told me that he can whip up an Advil for Renfield's miserable condition if I bring him some red river reeds and an ice troll's heart. Ah, okay. And both of the ingredients. Ask for if I take them back to the inn, he should be able to make the antidote. Okay. A lovely drop. Okay. Cool. Yep. Let's go get this one. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, we wanted all of you guys. Oop, I thought there was something missing over here. Troll skin. All right. Ooh, some um, somebody just bought something from me in my SD shop. Yay! All right. So should I take that arrow out of that wolf or not? Are we up there? Oh, here we are. Early payday, okay. What we got going on up here? We've got some greater ice blights, okay. Take you off of your scalp so you can move. Let's get you... Alright, you come over here. And who are you? You're him, okay. Um... Build triage, one per rest. Wound binding. Skyward kick. The monk launches a target into the air, slamming them back down to the ground and leaving them prone. That's how that works. Zawa is ready. Okay. Ah! 
I am no use! Did they kill my, um... Yeah. Aren't you doing anything? Come on. That's not very helpful. Here we go. Afraid to close your eyes, Watcher? <laughs> not all of us are on such bad terms with sleep. Are you trying to tell me we need to rest? Really? Really? Okay, so we got primal water. And what is this one? Primal wind. Okay. Very well. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so you're telling me we need to sleep. Um let's go ahead and do that. You awaken and hear someone stirring, growling. Looking over, you see Manila twitching and muttering in her sleep. You can't make out what she's saying, but from her bared teeth and the shin sheen of sweat on her brow, this seems like a very bad dream. Hmm. Shake her <laughs> awake. She sits bolt upright, roaring and reaching for her weapon. Deck her. Calm down, you're safe. What? Oh! Her gaze darts around her slowly. Her gaze darts around but slowly focuses on you. She grimaces and looks away, wiping her face. Oh, sorry. I must have been dreaming. She lies back down and turns away from you. You can't help but notice how carefully she's avoiding your gaze. About what? No, it's nothing. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. She pulls her blanket over her shoulders. Hmm, you weren't bothering because something's clearly bothering you. I'd like to help. Spit it out. We're both awake now. We might as well talk it out. The other is still asleep. We'll talk it quietly. Um, yeah, we're both awake now. Might as well talk it out. She's quiet for a long time. It seems like she's already gone back to sleep, but then she sighs. You told me about your awakening. Eater stirs. Manila waits silently until Eater rolls over and resumes a deep, steady breath. I guess I've had a similar problem. Oh, really? There's something I remember from a former life. Happened hundreds of years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. And how did you remember it? Happened while I was fighting in Old Valia 20 years ago. My unit was camped out in the palace we'd just taken. The others were roasting the last of the Marchesos pigs in the feast hall. So, I went to the wine cellars to fetch a few bottles. She works her fingers into a knot. I don't know how long she'd been hiding there, but there was this old woman. It must have been one of the servants. Her fingers curl into fists. She had this wild look in her eyes. I approached her and tried to tell her not to be afraid, that she was safe. Manila holds out her hand, reliving the memory. She screamed and grabbed my arm. It felt like someone had hit me in the back of my head. I blacked out for a few minutes, and when I came to, she was gone. Okay, go on. I took a few bottles up with me, feasted with the rest of the troops. But when I went to bunk, I had a dream. She shivers, ooh. Only it was more vivid than any dream I've ever had. I tasted the sweat on my lips, felt the jungle air on my skin, heard the cries. She stops and swallows, shaking her head. What about the old woman? Okay, hit this dream. This was a memory? Like when you hear a song you know you've heard before. Anyway, I laid off the drink for several days, but I kept having the dream. After a few weeks, I, I thought a change of scenery might do me good. Since then, I've been a pirate in the dead fire, a pilgrim in the white that wins, an adventurer in the living lands, and a gift bear in a shamanal. She gives you a rueful smile. So, um, what's this memory? It's something terrible I did, a long time ago, and as a different person. But I remember it more clearly than anything. But next then? I told you I was looking for the Abbey of the Fallen Moon so I could leave something behind. There's a pool there, the salt well. It's where gift bearers leave the heaviest burdens. 
It's said that a person can enter it and leave their own memories behind. There is a distant, hungry look in her eyes. And you would leave this haunting memory in the salt well? Mm, yeah. That's the plan. And what if you lose more than you intend? <laughs> At this point, I'd gladly give up all my memories if that's what it takes for peace in this life and the next. Hmm, I wanted to ask you about something. Um, how did you end up in Stalwart? The other git bearers told me Stalwart was close to the Abbey, so they, so they suggested I ask for directions in town. You mean the other git bearers don't know where the Abbey is? Yeah, I think that's odd, too. Like I said, it's one of Andra's most ancient temples, and her followers aren't really known for their record keeping. They're not exactly dressed for the weather. Well, and, and Exanel's flat as pan. Well, Exanel's flat as platter. So when the gift bearers told me Stalwart was way up in the mountains, I thought they were exaggerating. <laughs> she shrugs. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I get what she's implying. Anyway, I hate packing. Mm, I see. Always happy to chat. Um, so tell me why you really became a gift bearer. I heard about the order from some missionaries while I was in the Living Lands. I'd heard Andra's doctrine before, but the way they talked about the peace of forgetting, wasting, washing the oat away with the uh, with the tide, it sounded good. And gift bearers work taken to the road, helping people lose their own burdens. That sounded good too. Kept hoping I'd find a way for me to lose my burden along the way. So tell me about yourself. Where to begin? I spent almost 10 years as a mercenary in Old Balia. Plenty of work there. She tilts back her head back and starts counting items off on her fingers. After that, I fought with pirates in the dead fire, or for them, depending on whom was paying. Did a short time in the white that, white that wins, then roamed around the living lands and finally joined the gift bearers. And here I am, she grins. Um... Actually, I was asking about where you came from before your adventures. Not much to say. She waves a hand and looks away quickly. Grew up in wherever that is. Left when I was still pretty young and haven't got, been back since. Why not? Oh, you know, spent spent almost 20 years there. Change of scenery is good, right? She gives you a breezy smile, but it looks forced. Oh, you had some problems. I see. Better to look forward than back. That's what I always say. So why so much travel? I could ask you the same. Hmm, one drifted to the other. Guess saying stay in one place never much suited me. And you give up soldiering, piracy, and adventuring to join the gift bearers? She laughs. Still plenty of adventures, just different circumstances. Hmm. I have questions about some of the lands you visited. I'm always up for war stories, so... Uh, what was Old Bailey like? Grand. A skirmish every day and a feast at another. Come. Um. A skirmish every day and a feast at another. Come tea? Or Maceros keep every night. Whatever that is. Those were good carefree days. And tell me about the dead fire. Dangerous. You got pirates and sea monsters and don't even get me started on them. Merchants. <laughs> the merchants. <laughs> They're worse than the pirates and the sea monsters. That's funny. I had a good run there, but I got tired of trying to keep track of who had a knife pointed at my back. Yeah, that would be exhausting. And what were your experiences in the white, white that wins? Short. That place is too cold for anything but leaving. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm curious about the living lands. She laughs. Most folk are. Even after ten years there, it feels like I just saw the edges of the place. You can start that day you can start the day in a desert and find yourself in the middle of the jungle by nightfall. Oh, interesting. Everything there is just a little wilder. Goes for the folk as well as the creatures. Part of me misses it still, but you wake up every day knowing it might be your last. I stayed lucky longer than anyone has a right to expect. Hmm, that's why I wanted to know. Something else on your mind. Nope, that's it. The burden of memory. 
so that's what uh, takes a hidden abbey. Okay, journey to the abbey of the fallen moon. I'm gonna get her name. She's looking for the abbey of the fallen moon, a secret temple where has been ordered to dispose of several tokens. Is she seeking the abbey to dispose of her own painful memories? Okay. Sure. Okay. Time to see and not be seen. This is that pond. Well, we know the wolf is over here. Is it even marked? Oh, here's the crater. So there's something we're supposed to do here? Is I didn't see anything when we went around it. Like I could interact with it at all. Hmm. Okay, well we know that the wolf is over here. I'm still thinking there's something to do with that. Where is it at? Um, it must be, oh, it's up here by the campfire. Okay. And up here's the wolf. Let's go this way now. We got some river weed. Oh. Uh, what did we find? Oh, we got some more ice beetles up there. Got something hidden over here. Body. This teeth marks up on the deer bone suggest a large predator. Hunter's favor. One of Stowers' best hunters has found them his match in a cunning wolf that has re oh hunt down the wolf. Describe his hunt for a dangerous and very large wolf that is preying on visitors within the russet wood. Found half-eaten deer. Carcass on the wilderness just south of the frozen lake. It looks like the work of a large predator, and I found nearby prints leading the way to the north. Did I now? Hmm. I don't remember seeing those prints. But we're going to be going that way eventually. Oh, we got a slave tracker. Oh, we got slave. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Sure. A marksman, a slave tracker. He's not talking to us. Okay. Got a horse. Don't see many on these roads, and the few we do are hunters, woodcutters, or smugglers. She cocks an eyebrow at you and gives you a half smile. She not she holds herself with confident grace. A conspicuous holster slung over one hip. Beyond her is a wagon loaded with supplies. Manila Manacles da dangle from one end. How do we know what her name is? Um, which are you, hunter, woodcutter, or smuggler? The high, clear peals of her laughter ring across the snowy plain. I suppose you could say I'm a hunter. Her fingers drum the tooled leather of her holster. Yeah, I forgot about what my, um, a lot of the quests that I picked up in Stalwart were, because it's been probably about a week since the last time I played. I'm looking for a fugitive from Raid Saris, an indentured servant, and a wanted criminal. Her, the smile disappears from her face like a candle flame snuffed out by the wind. She watches you through humorless eyes. I may have met someone like that around here. What exactly is he wanted for? Indentured servant, you mean slave. It's allowed in Raid Saris, but this fellow? Let's call him Ilef. He signed himself over, making him an indentured servant. Now that distinction isn't much heated in the Deerwood. But as you may have noticed, we're barely in the Deerwood. Her sly grin returns and is hardly more than a squint. Hmm. What exactly is he wanted for? Besides breaking his indenture, he slew his master's 13-year-old son, killed the boy before he fled. Hmm. He 
belongs in prison, not in the slaver's pen. His master sees it differently. She unholsters her pistol. Shame we couldn't do business. Really? Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. All right. You. Going to do ah! you better be attacking. I don't know why you keep holding ah! What about you up there? Yeah! Ah! <laughs> okay, you can do your chain lightning too. Would be nice. Um, or this. Okay, let's go after this Some. one. Oh, I don't have them set up to it. That's why. Go after this one. Over, <laughs> over staying his welcome. The slave hunter is dead. Aleph will be relieved to hear, but now that we found out that he killed somebody, I don't know. Hmm. Because I think he might have lied to us. What do you think? Yes, and that's Lead the what, way. But I think I forgot to do. I forgot to do their. Um, there's a way to. Isn't there a way to do their? Um, so that they fight instead of just sitting there. I thought there was a way to do that. That's that conversation. I thought there was a way. I can't remember now. It's been a while since I've had anybody new. So I thought they would, they're supposed to fight, but I have to keep directing them to fight. Zawa is ready. Hmm. I think I want to put you on your weapons. Okay. Hmm. Nani? Oh, there's something up there. Lots of stuff. We have fine. Okay. No problem. We talk to the horse. We're gonna see the horse here. Gonna, oops, I just saw something up here, didn't I? I thought I saw something red. I can swear there's something up here. That's why I'm turning... Hmm. You should test that ice with something heavy. Make sure it's safe. Maybe with a, an overweight priest that can't shut up. <laughs> yeah. Nice thought, Eater. Okay, we found something here. Ooh, camping supply. Oh, and grapple hook. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. That's why it's here, huh? Uh-oh. Gently, with the fingers. They're the best part I don't want. They're the best part. I don't want... A slow smile creeps across her face at your approach. The other men and women turn to look at you, their mouths filthy with blood and goblets of flesh. What were they just eating on over here? Hmm. Well, hello there, beautiful. 
what brings you to this part of the rus russet wood? Why don't you tell me what brings you here? I'm looking for an ogre matron. Mm. Why do you care? Oh, how nice. She's staring at you intently now and doesn't appear to have heard your answer. My, my, you look absolutely mouthwatering. She licks her lips. Yeah, they're cannibals, aren't they? You roll your eyes. She and her friends rush at you. Okay. Uh, so we got a Framfree, whatever. Oh, they're... Okay. Whatever. So you can go after her up here. You can go over here. I'm gonna split you up here, guys, a little bit. You can go over here. And you are going to wait and see what they do. Hey. idiot that came up right up on you there. Um, you can do your kind of flames. Did some one of us just get turned? Durant's did. He's confused. Um, that didn't do much good, did it? And Precisely bursting. Okay, that'll work. Come on, it's not much dead. Fairly injured. Okay. There's something you can do for when they're right there in front of you. don't want to do that. Um, Wording the staff. This spell conjures a powerful quarter staff that adds reflection and pulses enemies away with hobbled effect on... Oh, that'll work. I see, they're like zombies. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. They're all dead. Look at all the blood everywhere on the snow. <laughs> mm, too funny. What do we got here? Exceptional Morning Star plate armor. Zombie skin. No problem. All right. Okay, so let's go back into our stealth. I thought we saw something up here. This is like a burial or something. Oh, 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 that's right. Many of these frozen corpses are missing fingers or have had chunks of flesh cut off from their thighs and torsos. Yeah, they're zombies. Flesh eating zombies! We've got a barrel up here. We've got veggies. Vegetables. Okay. Um, Hunter's camp. Abandoned camp. And then we'll go straight across. Oh, look at all the corpses and stuff everywhere. Nothing here that I can see. Oops, missed this down here. Hmm. 
Interesting. Looks like there could have been a will. This is how we came in here. All right? Oh. Cutscene. As you walk toward the frozen pond, a figure appears to the mist. Kneeling down next to a hole on the ice, the figure picks up a large chest and throws it into the water without hesitation. Hmm. The figure looks around. You glimpse a face you've seen before. Axel, one of Larda's acolytes, pulls a hood over his head and throws a leather bag over his shoulder. Without looking back, he walks away in the direction of Stalwart Village. Okay, so we found where they're hiding. Regrets worth to retrieve. See, upon arriving at the pond in the rustic wood, I spotted him. Spotted an alkali. Hurriedly dropping a large object into its water. If this is the spot where offerings are cast away, his heirlooms should be at the bottom. Cloudy water is visible through a large hole cut through the thick ice. It is larger than a fishing pole, wider than a broad, and a larger, wider than a broadest amuna, whatever, who, whatever, whatever I am. Stir, stirred, the surface of the water laps against the layered ice. You reach out to test the water. It nips at your fingers with every ripple, quickly numbing your hand after a few seconds. We'll inspect the area. You carefully inspect your surroundings. Animal tracks are plentiful, but what appear to be the footprints of kith are also present near the hole. Looking closer into the hole, you notice a jagged ring of frost adhering to its walls that has been ice rebroken perhaps more than once. Uh, look through the water to the bottom of the pond. The waters swirl, silty and nearly opaque. You attempt to see through the murk, but can make out nothing in particular. Hmm. Well, I can dive in and search the bottom of the lake. Let me let me leave here, and I will save. Let's dive in. Who will dive in? Um, bulwark against the elements. Cast bulwark against the elements before diving in. You dive, have Eater dive in, have Durance dive in. Cast, yeah, Bulwark against the elements, okay. Who will cast Bulwark against the elements? Listen to him do it. A lock begins to draw energy out of the ether and into a glimmer. There is a sun flash of light from the open page and you are bathed in a protective aura. You dip your hand into the water. You can feel its ripples climbing up your skin, but you notice no change in temperature, as if the water itself had become lukewarm. The coat, it seems, is no longer a threat. Well, it's a good thing I have that learned then, I guess, right? Who will dive in? Um, I think Eater would probably be the most for, with Endurance, either that or Manila. Mm, oh, no, I'm sorry. Zenua. Let's have him dive in. The new dives into the water and disappears into the turbulent darkness. Its embrace, however, feels like warm and almost feels lukewarm and almost welcoming. Protected by the spell, Zenua manages to swim with ease to the bottom of the pond. Directly below the hole, at the very bottom, Zenua's hands find heavy objects made of wood and metal. They are chests, small but heavy. Zenua starts to bring them up to the surface one by one, struggling to carry their weight to the water. After a heroic effort, Zenu comes out of the frozen pond. You let a few minutes pass to recover from the ordeal, and then you are ready to inspect your findings. The chests are marked with symbols of Andra. You grab one of them and pry its lid open to reveal its contents. Inside, all you see are rocks. Uh-huh. You shake the surprise off and grab another chest. The same results greet you after opening it. More rocks and nothing of value. Something is assuredly amiss. As proof of your findings, you take one of the empty chests with you. Wow. Okay. I recover several empty chests that bears symbol. 
The medallion I seek wasn't inside any of them. They are filled only with rocks. It looks like Larda, the priestess, has much to answer for. Yep. Yep. Okay, taxes collected, the earl collected. Okay. Interesting. Major adventure completed. Uh, what was major adventure? Um, Elsa returns to the stronghold with 3,800 experience and average reputation with twin elms. Spoils await in the great hall, treasury chest. Yes. Okay, do I have to repair anything again? I haven't looked for a while. I don't think we've been assaulted recently, so... Nope, it looks like we're fine. Interesting, indeed. I was going this way, I believe. What time is it? Ah. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, we will do uh, finish exploring the russet wood. And we know we have the... Ogre Matron, I believe, is to the north of us. So that ought to be an interesting fight. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.